First, developing out of Newport News, a recount in District 94 would decide the balance of power in the General Assembly. Incumbent Republican David Yancey started the day with a 10 vote lead over Democratic challenger Shelley Simons. But as the recount started, the votes started to shift. Tonight, your side's Matt Gregory just stepped out of the recount. Matt? I just stepped out, and that was a nail biter. I mean, the tension in that room I haven't felt in a long time somewhere when the vote margin was just 10 between the delegate incumbent Yancey and Shelly Simons, and then started to shrink over the course of the day until Shelly Simons went up by one vote, not only taking the district, but changing the balance of power in Richmond. Now, there were 24 precincts to recount, along with absentee ballots and provisional ballots, and in all, there was roughly 23,000 ballots to go through, and each ballot went through a counting machine, and irregular ballots were sent to a team of election officials, and that team of officials went over each one with court mandated guidelines. And in the end, Shelly Simons picked up enough votes to go ahead of David Yancey by one vote exactly. She takes the 94th district seat, and with it, the House of Delegates will now be split evenly by party 50 50. And Simons says, even before the election, she knew it was going to be close. And I knew just from the campaign that this was a very 50 50. Uh, district. I could feel it at the time. So I know they're excited and I know we're going to get a lot of great stuff done. Now, this will not be official until certified by a judge tomorrow morning in circuit court. But coming up at 530, more on how the balance of power changes in Richmond and how this election changed from 10 votes in Yancey's favor to one vote in Simons. I'll have that at 530 here in Newport News. I'm Matt Gregory. Tell on your side.